Hi, I'm Guy Edwards and welcome to Successful Health. Today we're going to go through the ulnar nerve neuromechanic drill. And we've got Ryan Farrington here, our athlete, he's going to help us with this. So, as I've mentioned in previous videos, we're going to add tension to the nerve, the ulnar nerve in this particular case, to increase coordination of the muscle, so allow the muscle to contract and relax when it needs to. Or we're going to increase neural drive to the muscle, allowing it to contract with more force, potentially, if, it's, if there's a deficit in that muscle at the time. And in this case, there'll be the muscles that are innervated by the ulnar nerve. So, to add tension, you start in the brain and you take tension on that end and take, put the other tension in the wrist and hand where the ulnar nerve finishes. So, we'll start off in this case by asking Ryan to extend his wrist or push, push his fingers forward at the wrist joint. He's then going to extend the elbow, uh, sorry, flex the elbow in this case, and then flex his shoulder. So he's going to this position, almost like he's carrying a plate on his shoulder, like a waiter. And you may start to feel a little bit of tension now on the outside of his forearm, into his little, little finger, or even a little bit higher up in the neck. All depends on where he, he has a particular issue or a particular tension in that on the nerve pathway. So it's, it's, extend the stretch or increase the stretch, I'm going to ask him to abduct his arm, bring his shoulder out to the side, and he might increase the stretch by doing that. He's then going to tilt his head away, and that's going to be the maximum stretch you can put on. Okay, so I'll just bring him back out of that stretch, and the idea isn't to increase the stretch into a painful position, it's just trying to increase the stretch so you can feel, have a more awareness of the pathway of the ulnar nerve. Okay, so that's a neural tension. The neural glide, or flossing technique, would be to move one end, to move his head at the opposite time as he relaxes the tension on the other end of his arm. So we'll do that by asking Ryan to get into that first tension position. Okay. In this case, I'm going to, it's a little bit like drinking a cup of tea. So, as he's imaginary drinking a cup of tea, he brings his arm up and he's going to relax the tension in his neck by tilting back his head. As he brings it up, he's going to shorten the neck and lengthen the, the nerve at this end. And as he brings it back down again, he's going to bring it back in to neutral, so back and forth. It's almost like you're kind of drinking a cup of tea and passing it past the back of your head. So you should be flossing a nerve from one end. Okay, and the idea of flossing a nerve is again, if you've got an adhesion of, of any of the nerve tissue, perhaps on the, the sheath of the nerve or on the muscles around it or the tissue around it, by doing this, you can actually just almost clear it out and help relax it. So you're mobilizing the nervous system to effect. So this is the ulnar nerve Tension to start off with and the ulnar nerve glide. Thanks.